Syrian President Bashar al-Assad has blamed foreign-backed insurgents for the violence in his country. We didn't launch the war, and we didn't choose which, which kind of war, because we didn't choose it anyway. Mm -hmm. You have terrorists coming uh, with very sophisticated arguments, all kinds, nearly all kinds of armament that they can carry with them, and started killing people, destroying infrastructure, destroying uh, public places, everything. How do you defend them? Defend them according to the aggressions that mm. you have, according to the tactics that they use. Mm. So they use uh, heavy weaponry. You have to retaliate in the same way. Weapon to fight terrorism. I well, Assad about. made the remarks in an interview with a, a German television channel. He also rejected claims that Damascus could use chemical weapons against the insurgents. Assad said those making the claim are trying to exert more pressure on Syria. The president also spoke against Turkey's role in his country. He said Ankara has asked NATO to deploy Patriot missiles on its soil only to portray Syria as a threat. Assad went on to say that his future can only be decided by the Syrian people. In Syria, an Al-Qaeda-linked armed opposition group claims responsibility for an attack earlier this month, which killed at least 60 civilians. The Al-Nusra Front has said in a statement posted on the Internet that it had carried out the February 6th attack in the town of Talbarak in the central province of Hama. In that attack, one of the insurgents drove an explosive-laden bus toward workers outside a factory. Al-Nusra Front is among several foreign-backed militant groups fighting the Syrian government, but only this group has been listed as a terrorist organization by the United States. Al-Nusra, along with several other groups, has been involved in the majority of attacks in Syria, which has led to the death of thousands of civilians and government forces. The United Nations says the prolonged crisis has left some 70,000 people dead in almost two years. Joining us now via Skype from New York is writer and political commentator Nasser al Omari. Many thanks for joining us here on Press TV, Mr. al Omari. Now, looking at the crisis in Syria, we have seen uh, alliances being formed within the Middle East that many did not expect being formed. What do you make of this? We've also seen a further militarization of this volatile region. I think there's a, a lot of uh, cheap uh, rhetoric uh, being applied to, uh, uh, to, to, uh, to the really, really bad situation in Syria. I don't think the United States is about to commit uh, to uh, any kind of uh, serious engagement uh, in Syria. Uh, uh, the Turkish, uh, you know, war of uh, rhetoric uh, against the Syrian president uh, is uh, hypocritical uh, because the, the, uh, Turkey is uh, involved in, uh, uh, in, in uh, military relationships with the state of Israel. So uh, what I see from uh, uh, all, all that is going on in and around uh, Syria is a lot of rhetoric. I don't think the world is about to engage uh, in any serious, uh, uh, in any serious uh, uh, you know, in offering any serious solutions to the devastating situation, uh, Turkey, the United States, uh, and the Arab world, uh, unfortunately, are not uh, doing what they should do to uh, prevent and stop the daily killing of the Syrian people. But are they even looking for a solution with regards to Syria? Let's not forget what is taking place in Syria right now is a proxy war that is being controlled by the West and its allies within the region. What do you think the end game is? Is it only going to stop at Syria or there's more to it than meets the eye? I think the, the West and, and Israel look at what's happening in Syria and they're waiting to see who will come out victorious and uh, support whoever uh, emerges out of this devastating situation, civil war, uh, and support them. Uh, in the meanwhile, uh, the Arab world wishes and hopes uh, that uh, you know, the Syrian regime will collapse and it will be replaced uh, by a regime that they will contribute to shaping and forming. Uh, uh, so everybody, I think, is, is worried about their own uh, share of uh, the, 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 the product uh, of the civil war. Unfortunately, looking at the ground and, and looking how the, the conflict is expanding and reaching uh, places like uh, Lebanon now with the fighting breaking on the Syrian-Lebanon uh, border, 
uh, what what I think is happening is a situation is that that is out of control of the warring factions uh, as well as uh, the uh, you know the spectators in the Arab world uh, as well as the, uh, the the Western countries. I don't think there is a solution. Uh, I think this conflict uh, has really spun out of control, and I don't see any any uh, uh, solution being imposed on Syria anytime soon. So you would say that this spillover effect was not calculated by the West when it decided to support these insurgents in Syria? I don't think I don't think the West uh, wanted to strengthen Al Qaeda in Syria. I think that that was a, uh, that, that was a byproduct of allowing all kinds of individuals and elements to enter Syria in the hopes of destabilizing the Syrian regime. Now, the news coming out of Syria show that the confrontation between uh, the confrontations inside Syria involve uh, elements uh, that are extremely dangerous and can actually uh, uh, get, the co get the conflict into places where the Arab world or the West did not even, or Turkey, intended it uh, to go. It's a very serious situation. I, I doubt that anybody is really pulling the, the, uh, the levers any longer. This conflict is, is moving in all kinds of direction, and the, the moment has passed when, the, when, when it uh, could have been contained. Okay, we're going to have to leave it there. That was a writer and political commentator, Nasr al Omari, there joining us via Skype from New York. Mr. al Omari, thank you very much for your comments here on Press TV.